Uh, good evening YouTube. Um, I just want to talk about a video that uh, one of my work colleagues showed to me uh, a couple of days ago. I think it was on TikTok, I'm not sure. But that's irrelevant. Anyway, basically what it was saying was that this woman, uh, I think she was American, I don't know, but she was saying that her son, who uh, was obviously under the age of consent, wanted to be a cat, wanted to be recognised or known or identified, that's the word, identified as a cat. And she wanted her son, in the event of medical treatment, to be treated by a vet. You know, a human being being treated by a vet. And apparently when she went to the vets to get treated, or some get treated I should say, he said, well the anatomy of a human it's very different from a hum uh, of a of a cat or an animal. It's very different from from that of a human, which obviously makes sense. So on that basis, he couldn't treat that person. What is wrong with society? What is happening in this world? I I, I can't get my head around this. A parent, a woman, wants her son to be treated by a vet because he wants to be recognised or identified as a cat. And because the vet wouldn't treat that person, she said it was unfair. I'll tell you something now. If it was my son, it was my son that said to me one day, turned around and said, I want to be identified as a cat or a dog or, you know, some other animal. Let's say, let's say a cat, for example. If my son came to me and said, from now on, Dad, I want to be identified as a cat and I want you to treat me like a cat. I'd say, OK, if that's what you want. I'll tell you what I'd serve him up for his dinner. On a Monday, he'd get Kitty Cat. Tuesday, I'd probably give him uh, whiskers. And if he's been a good boy all week, I'll give him Sheba. At the weekend is a treat. You know, they, they want it one way but not the other. Identified as a cat. I can't, I, you know, what's, what's, what's the world coming to? What's happening in the world? It, it, it's big as belief. It's unbelievable. What is wrong with parents that, 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 that are allowing their children to do this? I've been watching some old YouTube videos as well about some old shows that were, were famous in the 70s. Uh, one of them was, was uh, The Dick Emery Show, uh, Love Thy Neighbour, Dave Allen. Dick Emery, you know, he portrayed himself as a woman sometimes, but it was all in good fun. Love Thy Neighbour. You know, people say oh, it was prejudiced. It's... it's uh, you can't say things like that anymore. But the, the fact is, on Love Thy Neighbour, the white guy, and I can't remember, Jack, oh, Jack Smethurst, I do remember his name, he played the white guy. Now, he actually always came off worse off than the black guy. I can't remember the black guy's name, so I do apologise for that. But those that are in my age group <coughs> will remember that series and, and, and know that it was never one-sided. Both sides, it was all equal, you know. Um, it wasn't just against one race of people. You know, uh, Jack, the white guy, used to call him um, Sambo and all that. Um, but the black guy used to call Jack uh, Pearl Drop or, or Milk Bottle, you know. Um, it was all good fun. It was, it was you know... It wasn't taken seriously, but now anything anybody says is, 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 you've got to be so careful what you say because of fear of upsetting people, you know, these woke people, it, it's, it beggars belief. You know, there's some good shows back in the old days, good harmless fun, and sadly it's been turned around. Um, for their own agenda 
um, and the way they wanted to move forward on this. So I just wanted to say about that. Um, I sometimes watch some old YouTube videos of the old shows because they were the good ones. Uh, uh, that's the only place you can get them now is, is on YouTube. Um, and I think even some of them have been uh, removed, you know, because of some of the content. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, on, a, <clears throat> on another note with uh, my, subs my s subscriber friends, uh, Richard of Stone Mason, I've been in touch with him recently. He's okay. I won't say, say, say too much on that, but he's not in a position where <clears throat> he can, um, he feels like he's ready to upload a video or anything with me or do a stream with me. But I just want you to know he's okay and he, he wants to keep himself a little bit behind the scenes at the moment. Uh, David Yates and uh, Debbie, uh, as far as I'm aware, they're okay. I had a text from Debbie a while back to say that Dave had been working away, um, you know, and uh, obviously they want to keep their future plans as private as possible, so I'm not going to go too much into that one. But uh, yeah, I just, I, I just felt I needed to say something about the way the woke people, you know, these woke, woke people. Uh, are turning everything around to their own agenda. Um, it's unbelievable. So hopefully I'll catch you later. Thanks for joining me and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.